doing there, America? How's it going right there? Yeah, how's it going, America? Where the hell? How's it doing? What the hell's going on? All right, so we're going to jump right in. We're off the damn rails. I had to do a special on this one, Shane, because I think it's like the craziest Shane you can... Listen, if you a goddamn psychopath and you feeling bad about your damn self, then you go ahead and you get some motivational damn shit run up in there. You just go ahead and you read, if you know how to read, and more psychos, they intelligent, so I, I take it they can read... You go ahead and you read some motivational shit because you're feeling bad about chopping people up or fucking molesting little kids or fucking swindling people out of their life savings or maybe you're just cheating on your spouse. But you're probably feeling bad, so you want to go ahead and read some shit like this. This will make you feel all better. This is what all the crazy people do so they can deal with how they're crazy. What the hell? Why is this? What the hell? Why is this? Why is this clicking? What the hell is my? What the hell is going on here? All right. So this is how it goes. Never feel bad for making. Wait a second. Hold on. Restart that shit. Dummy. All right. Here's the saying. Never feel bad for making a decision that upsets other people. You are not responsible for their happiness. You are responsible for your happiness. Now, if that isn't some of the dumbest bullshit I've ever heard. I think all these motivational sayings, they be like trying to reach out to normal folk. Like if you're normal and you're like just living the nine to five, you're just living the good old American dream, you know what I'm saying? And you're probably like, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. But nobody ever thinks about it the way I think about things. And if you think about it, if you a crazy man and you killing people and you don't, you don't feel good about yourself, but you can't stop. You can't stop because it feels so good to slice and dash. You're going to read something like this and then you're going to be like, yeah, I'm responsible for their happiness. I'm responsible for mine. And it makes me damn happy to chop up motherfuckers and put them in my goddamn refrigerator. All right. So leave me alone, America. I'm a good person. Let's read that one more time. Never feel bad for making a decision that upsets other people. So, like, I can go ahead and take all your goddamn life savings. 467000 I feel happy because I got money and money makes me happy and I'm sorry I'm not responsible for your happiness and I'm sorry you're not happy right now because I took all your damn money that you've been saving your whole damn life. Oh, wait a second. Let's jump to the cheaters. All right, honey, listen. I am not happy right now, and if I fuck other pussy like three times a week, then I'm damn happy, and I'm sorry you're not happy that my dick's going in other girls, but you know what? I'm not responsible for your happiness. I'm responsible for mine. I read it on the internet, so it's got to be damn true. Yeah, it's kind of like that one Shane that I said from the movie. Where he's like, yeah, the coach says to the football player, what the football player says to the coach. Yeah, coach, I can't be better. I don't know how to be better. I'm trying, but I just can't do it. And the coach says, listen, son, that's what character is. Character is... You don't actually have to be better. You just have to try to be better. And that's what character is, son. It's in the trying. So if you try to not be a psycho, but you still a psycho. You got a good character for a goddamn psycho because you trying hard to not be a psycho. And if you trying hard, that's what character is. It's in the trying. So now you, you still crazy as a motherfucker. Shit. But you ain't that crazy. I mean, you crazy. You crazy. You downright damn probably crazy. But I'll tell you what right now. At least you got good character. We can put it on your grave. Dave. He was a psycho, but he had a great character. Roll that song. This is why you got to watch this shit till the end. Because I'm going to hit it with some extra shit once in a while. And if you don't watch all the damn way, pass the damn XO. That's the intro at the end. The XO. Yeah, you're going to miss out, America. So listen, there was another saying. I just had to say it again. One of my favorite sayings of all time. I don't do this shit, but it's still like a good-ass saying. 
itch. Don't let your mood. What the hell was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Don't let your mood. Fuck, I did it again. Here we go, third try. Don't let your mood. I ain't doing this a fourth damn time. Don't let your damn mood change by the insignificant actions of others. I got a long way to go for that one. Roll the XO.